Well, higher gas prices are blowing budgets for charities that help people meet their health care needs. Mm -hmm. Providing transportation for patients who can't afford it is getting tougher. Cynthia Newsom is following the story. Hi, Cynthia. Hello, Elizabeth. You know, for some people with serious health problems, transportation is literally a matter of life or death. And some of those people with higher gas prices are putting their lives in jeopardy. They simply cannot afford to pay for gas. Jeffrey Alston has non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. He's one of more than 2,000 people who depend on cancer action every month for transportation to the hospital for medical treatments. Volunteers give the patients a ride, and cancer action reimburses volunteers for mileage. In the last six months, as gas prices have increased, Cancer Action has seen a 60% increase in the number of people asking for a ride. So the board is scrambling to find more grants and do more fundraising to get more gas money. You know, I hope that they get whatever, you know, funding or whatever they need to get. I hope they do get it. Because without Cancer Action, you have a lot of people out here who wouldn't be getting the treatment that they need and more likely wouldn't be here on this earth. Now, Cancer Action works with clients to identify friends and family and neighbors who can help give them transportation. And so far, Cancer Action has been able to help every client find transportation. Reporting live, Cynthia Newsom, 41 Action News.